Dr. Sagar Bhattad, MBBS, MD. He is the first DM in India in pediatric clinical immunology and rheumatology specialty. He is a renowned pediatric immunologist and rheumatologist in Bangalore. The other day in my outpatient department, a young 14-year-old girl visited me. She had been suffering for the past three months. She had ongoing fevers, rashes on her body, joint pains, and few of her joints were swollen. Her family pediatrician had conducted many blood tests, and one of those tests was an anti-nuclear antibody test, which was tested positive, and this girl was referred to us. And when we investigated this girl, we told her parents, your, chi- your child has systemic lupus erythematosus, that is SLD. The parents looked confused and perplexed. Now, what caused it is a very common question that parents would ask. Is it an infection? Is it something that they got by eating some kind of food outside? Or can it spread from one person to another because there is a rash? So the answer is, this is not an infection. This does not spread from one person to another and it is not caused by eating any kind of food. It is basically an an autoimmune disease. This is an autoimmune disease. What do you mean by autoimmune disease? We all know that white blood cells in our body form the immune system. They protect us. They protect us from viruses, bacteria, fungi and what not. But then this immune system and these white blood cells should not attack our own body. An autoimmune condition is one wherein the white blood cells start attacking our own body. And SLE, the systemic lupus erythematosus, is one of the most common autoimmune diseases. And in this case, because of the autoimmunity, these cells start damaging the skin, the joints, the kidneys and many organs of the body. The next question naturally is that since my child has got it, will my second child also get it? Is this genetic in nature? Many parents ask, none of my family members has any form of ailment or chronic disease like this. Why did my girl develop this? The answer to this question is that in most cases, it is not genetic in origin and that is why the other child or no other family member may have an autoimmune disease. Is it environmental? We are not sure. The answer today as per medical science is that why some people develop autoimmune disease is not known. We believe there may be few genetic factors, there may be few environmental exposures, but we don't have a clear answer as to why a few people develop autoimmune diseases. The diagnosis of SLE or systemic lupus erythematosus is based on the clinical features like when a child presents to us with ongoing fevers, rashes, a very classical rash that we see in some of these patients is called the butterfly rash that appears on the face. Many of these children have oral ulcers, hair fall and joint symptoms with joint pains. And when we do their blood test, a specific test or a very important test, test that we do to pick up autoimmunity is the anti-nuclear antibody test. As in this child, the anti-nuclear antibody test was positive and she had many symptoms of lupus. So we say, yes, your child has systemic lupus erythematosus. This is an autoimmune condition. That means the body's white blood cells are not doing a good job and they are attacking our own cells. We must stop it. And to stop it, we must suppress our immune system to a certain extent. And that is why the treatment will involve immunomodulation, immunosuppression with steroids. So most of these children, we will start them on steroids, but then do not bother. We will also start steroid sparing agent. That means another medicine that will help us take out the steroids as early as possible. I'm sure many parents, the moment we say that you are supposed to be started on steroids would get scared because they would feel that these steroids may damage the bones, the growth of the child. But let me remind you that 
we are discussing it in open telling you why your child has to be started on steroids it must also be remembered that it is not going to be given for very long time but for a limited period along with other agents that will help us control the disease how long do you give these medications the treatment duration would vary from one child to another while most children will need treatment for at least 2 years in some children where there is involvement of the inner organs for example if kidneys are involved we may have to give the treatment for many years now can we cure this disease this is a very important question that bothers many parents one must remember that a few decades ago when sle was first described we did not have many forms of treatment i think we only had steroids today because of advances in medical science we have more than 10 different types of medications that can be given to control the disease in this situation so i am very hopeful that with the advances in medical science it is possible that in the coming decade we may in fact have a cure but right at this moment we don't have one medicine that can cure this disease but it must be remembered that if children are treated appropriately they would have a completely normal life they can go out play with their friends have a normal schooling but if not treated they would suffer and have damages that are irreversible and that is why it is very important that these children are treated in time a fundamental challenge that we face when we treat children with lupus or systemic lupus erythematosus is that many of these children are adolescents especially adolescent girls coming to us with rashes on their faces and they are worried about their illness a lot of emotional stress is involved as the family is going through the same as well as the child and i am sure there are a lot of cosmetic issues here when the face has got involved it is very important for the parents to understand and reassure their child that this is a this is a thing that will resolve on treatment they will return to normal see soon giving the right kind of emotional support is very important especially in this age group because these kids tend to go and do online research they read many things on google and other platforms and get confused and get more stressed so one of the requests that we make to parents in this situation is to be open to their children let children question please do not stop them from asking questions let them ask questions we will be in position to give them the right answers once you give them the correct form of information the right information children will agree and they will follow the treatment and once the entire family is in sync and is in confidence all these children do very well on treatment i'm sure this this is a very important question as to if this was related to food as i told you before this was not related to food but what food should i offer so that this disease is controlled in time so there is no magic food there is no super food here what is essential is a healthy balanced diet there is no need to be black and white in this situation do not say no rice no chocolates no non veg no this is not the way to go what we must understand is that these children would be put on steroids so naturally they tend to gain a little bit of weight and steroids can cause a little bit of rise in blood pressure so restricting their salt intake would be useful restricting sugar and calorie intake would be useful but then what we need to give them is a healthy balanced diet which is rich in green leafy vegetables keep them well hydrated and those are the principles of diet there is no super food that you need to give to your child in this situation children with sle can have flare of the problem when i mean to say flare the problem can increase if they get exposed to sunlight especially because of the ultraviolet uv radiations in the sunlight so we recommend that all these children must apply sunscreen at least 20 minutes before they go out in the sun at least twice daily i would say on the sun exposed areas it is it would be advised that they can wear full sleeve clothes 
but then let me again reassure you it does not mean your child should not go out and play please let them go out and play especially in the evening hours but not in the bright sunlight let them use round hats full sleeve clothes and take all these precautions and they would really do well parents watching this video should feel confident if at all their child gets diagnosed with sle that they can get appropriate treatment and their children will do well it is essential that these children are treated by a pediatric rheumatologist a family pediatrician should always be involved in care and with the correct treatment and with regular follow up these children tend to grow into very productive citizens let me reassure you that medical science is advancing and children with sle really do well and we must all make our best effort to treat them adequately thank you